Okay, hi guys, I'm just gonna give you a quick uh, guide on setting up false feedback in R Factor 2. A few people have been having a spot of bother. Um, I can't go into too much detail because it does depend on wheels and everything, but just briefly, um, what's cured the problems most people have been having is, uh, so really what you wanna be doing is looking at this FFB smoothing and the FFB minimum torque values. Get those down to zero to start with. And then on the car specific FFB multiplier, you wanna run that probably around about uh, 0.2 to 0.3 if you've got a um, consumer grade wheel like a Logitech or Thrustmaster. You can probably afford to run that a bit higher with uh, better wheels and probably up around about 0.6 to one with a direct drive wheel. Um, but really what you want to do is uh, take that up as high as before you start getting any issues in high speed corners. So start low and work, work up higher. This minimum torque, set it to zero to start with. You may see that the um, steering wheel oscillates when you're sat in the pits, but you can raise that up a little bit at a time until that oscillation starts to go away. FFB smoothing, you might want to put something on that if you're using a direct drive wheel. But again, start at zero and see how you feel. It, uh, the smoothing may take out some of the aggressive peaks of hitting uh, curbs. But with a consumer grade wheel, you probably want to keep that down really low so that you get them, you know, the maximum amount out of the wheel. 